5 minus 2t plus 3t squared dt. And uh, I always check uh, whether the function is continuous on 1, 4. It's a definite integral. If the function is not continuous on the interval 1, 4, then uh, I cannot apply fundamental theorem of calculus. Gotcha. So then I have 5t minus 2t squared over 2, which is t squared, plus 3t cubed over 3, which is t cubed. Is this okay? Yep. Okay, now all I have to do is plug in 4 and subtract when I plug in 1. When I plug in 4, I have 20 minus 16 plus 64 minus when I plug in 1. And it's safe to put parentheses because I may forget to distribute the negative sign. So I have 5 minus 1 plus 1. Uh, these two go away. And then 20 minus 16 is 4. 4 plus 64 is 68. And minus 5 is 63. Is this uh, okay? Yep. So you just um, found that antiderivative and plugged in, right? Yes, that's fundamental theorem of calculus in uh, part two in your book. Perfect. Yep. That one's all good. And then uh, now B. Uh, so the integral uh, of uh, 2u squared plus 8u plus u, 12u and plus 4. Uh, wait, what? We don't know how to differentiate, how to integrate the product. I have to distribute. Wait, no, what, what, what number was that? We don't know how to differentiate a product, integrate a product. We have to distribute. Well, no, no, I'm saying what What number is that one? So if you multiply, you get 2u squared plus 9u plus 4. No, plus 8 plus 4, right, isn't it? So 2u Wait, squared. Wait, that's your, that's your b? Yes, you have to distribute. We don't know how to integrate a product. Well, no, no, my, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Are you still on letter A? I'm on B. Oh, mine says U plus 4 parentheses 2U plus 1. You have to distribute. We don't know how to integrate a product. Oh, you went right into... <laughs> yeah, there was no point in writing it, right? It's just oh, algebra. Oh, okay. So it's 2U squared like, plus 8... All right, plus 1 and plus 4. So it's 2u you. squared plus 9u. And this is a... I mean, no, no, no. That's fine. This is a uh, definite, indefinite integral. So it's 2u cubed over 3 plus 9u squared over 2 and plus 4u plus a constant c. And this is it. You can rearrange it a little bit and write 2 thirds u cubed plus 9 halves u squared plus 4u plus c. And you can always go back and uh, di uh, differentiate this to make sure that you get that. Perfect. Now the next one is a in the, is a definite integral, so I have to make sure that um, the function is dif is continuous on interval one comma two. The function, this is always uh, continuous, this is always continuous. Uh, this is not continuous at zero, but uh, zero is not here. So everything is safe. So then I have 5x squared over 2. Now I have to be very careful with this because it's 5 to the x over natural log 5. And this is minus 2 natural log of the absolute value of x from 1 to 2. Is that OK? Yep. Now I have to plug in 2 everywhere. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Here I have 25 over natural log 5. And this is negative 2 natural log 2. 
Now careful, put minus and in parentheses so we don't forget to distribute. When I plug in one, I have five halves. When I plug in one, I have five over natural log five. And then when I plug in one, I get zero. So this is 10 minus five halves. Negative 25 over natural log 5, but plus 5 is negative 20 over natural log 5, and minus 2 natural log 2. I can't do anything but just do this, so it's 20 minus 5, which is 15 halves. And this is final. Any questions on this one? No, I don't think so. Everything okay? Yeah, that, that you just did it really, really fast. I was like, wow. Oh, no, I can go back. I think I got it. It's just um, the numbers. Basically, this is the most important step, and then plugging numbers is... Oh, I see what you... Okay, never mind. I see what you did. After you distributed that negative sign, you just combine yeah, like terms. Yeah, so these two, yeah, these two are here, and this one is negative twenty-five over natural log five. But then this one is positive five over natural log five. So they have the same denominator. So twenty negative twenty-five plus five will be negative twenty. And then I yep. copied this, and then I will um, only multiply. So it's twenty minus five is fifteen. Perfect. Uh, the integral from e to u over 1 plus e to u squared du. It's an indefinite integral. We can check at the end if we need to. Uh, but I will definitely use a substitution as 1 plus e to u. As long as dy is in the problem. And remember, dy is not the derivative. dy <laughs> is the differential. It's this function prime times du. But this function prime is e to u times du, which can be nicer. All this is my dy. And I have 1 over y squared. 1 over y squared dy. Is this OK so far? Yes. And now, if you remember, we talked um, a lot about this function as being this function. Yep. So this is what I have, except that I don't have the minus. So this must be negative 1 over y plus a constant c. When I differentiate this, when I differentiate this, I get negative 1 over y squared. With minus in front, I get 1 over y squared. Yes, I have to go back to the original variable because it's an indefinite integral. So I have 1 plus e to u plus a constant c. That's the answer? That's it. Wow. You're good. Um, cosine to the fourth sine x dx. So obviously I'm trying to get rid of this cosine to the fourth. So I'm going to say let y be cosine x and see if it works. Only if dy is in the problem. dy is negative sine x dx. No problem whatsoever to make up a negative one. I'll multiply twice by negative 1. I'm not changing the problem. I'm not changing anything. So therefore, I have a negative outside. I have u to the fourth. I'm sorry. I have y to the fourth. Negative 1 times sine x times dx. All this will be replaced by dy. 
So then this is negative y to the fifth over five plus a constant c. Yes, I have to go back. It's an indefinite integral, so I have to replace cosine to the fifth over five plus a constant c. So far, so good? Yep. Okay, um, the last one in this, uh, and I would like to look at the extra credit as well, because there are two integrals in there. So I have the x over 2x plus 3. Yes, the same thing, the same idea. I'm going to say that y equals 2x plus 3, as long as dy is in the problem. The derivative is 2 but I have to multiply by dx. I have the dx, which is dy, but I don't have the 2. Numbers I can make up with no problem. I can multiply the numerator by 2, multiply the denominator by 2, and I'm not changing anything. But now the thing is that this becomes dy. I have 1 half, and this is y. So it's 1 over y dy. And I know which function prime is 1 over y. And that is? Oh, just that one. Good, but not good enough. I have to plug it in. So this is 1 half natural log, the absolute value of 2x plus 3 plus a constant c. Uh, since we are here with uh, working with integrals, let's look at the extra credit. Yes. So the integral Sounds from good. negative 5 over 6 to pi over 6 from x squared sine x dx. First of all, it's a, a definite integral. Is this function defined everywhere on this interval? Uh. Defined everywhere on the planet, defined everywhere on the planet. So absolutely the product is defined everywhere. Gotcha. Number two, I see a, a uh, symmetric interval. My first thought immediately is, is the function odd or even? Because if it's odd, the answer is zero. If it's even, it will be twice from 0 to pi over 6, which is easier to calculate. If it's none of the above, then I have to calculate it as is. Is this function odd or even, or none of the above? Is it even? It is, uh, it is odd. This, is, this piece uh. is even, but anything that has sign in it is odd. Uh, okay. That makes it an odd function. So the answer is zero. And I have to write odd function on a symmetric interval. This is five. Is the next one zero as well? Careful. So the next one is from negative three to three from one over x dx. What do we need to check first since it's a definite integral? Oh, if it's um, what? To cut, uh, yes. Shoot. It has to be continuous on the interval negative 3, 3, otherwise fundamental theorem of calculus is not applicable. 
Gotcha. And it's not. Yes. So. FTC, not applicable. You don't have to write this, but it's called an improper integral calc 2. I have my schedule for next semester. I don't have a calc 2, but I'm hoping for a calc 2. Uh, I take calc 2. You are going to take it over the summer? Or, uh, yeah, I have it. In, I have it. Actually, it starts, I think, what, next week or the week after? Yeah. I have a Professor Messenger. Yes. Very Is he good. nice? Um, I think so. I don't know anything because I haven't observed him in class, so I don't know. I can't say. I got you. You might get some random questions about some problems. <laughs> For uh, From you? <laughs> yeah. I will be honored. <laughs> Oh man, that'll be, to help that'll be you. something for me. Yes, but please don't take other classes, okay? Uh, what? Um, don't take other classes over the summer. Just concentrate on Calc oh. 2 and nothing else. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. I observed um, uh, Jim in other classes, but not in, in Calc 2, so I can't tell you anything about it. Is it online? Yeah. Okay. That's the only that's the only kind of downfall. Because when I signed up at first, it wasn't it was uh it was like partial, like half online, half in class. Or something like that. Yeah. But everything got switched. <laughs> Good. Anything else? Oh, um, Oh wait, is that all for number or letter B? That's it. Oh, that's all you had to write. That's it. Oh, cool. You have to wait till Cal two. Uh, okay. You don't have to write this part. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Cool. Anything um, else from WebAssign or? Yeah, I'm probably gonna go back to WebAssign, or. Actually, can we do number five real quick? From? Um, the, this packet. Test four. Okay, number... You said number... It's uh, using midpoint. Uh, number five? Yeah. Yeah, we did it, I think, last time, but let's do it again. So, uh, from zero to eight, um, sign the score of x dx. We cannot find the, uh, the antiderivative to, different, to um, find the exact. That's not possible by hand. But we can still um, use, it says, uh, four subintervals with four decimals. So we can still approximate it from 0 to 8 to 4, 6. Right? So the width of each interval is 2, and the midpoint will be 3. The mid I'm sorry. The midpoint will be 3, the midpoint will be 5, and the midpoint will be 7 base times height at 1, plus base times height at 3, plus base times height at 5, and plus base times height at 7. So approximately 2 multiplied by f of 1 plus f of 3 plus f of 5 plus f of 7. That's it. And we have to get a number. And it says four decimal places. So uh, what I recommend is create those lists. Tell me if you see this. If not, I'll... Yep, I see it. So go to list L1 and clear if you have anything. Go to list L2 and clear if you have anything. So in list L1, I will put 1, 3, 5, 7. 1, enter, 3, 5, and 7. In list L2, highlight the top of the list. So let's put a function in, and the function will be 2 multiplied by sine the square of x. But the square root will be from list L1. That's our x. That's where, where x is, list L1. So uh, 2 multiplied by sine. 
and in parentheses the square root and inside the square root list L1 with second and one and close the parentheses for sign go outside of the, app, the square root and when you press enter you get all these numbers which numbers two times this one already is number first entry this times this is the second entry this times this is the third and this times this is the fourth and now on list L2 go to get out of there go to stats and we want to uh, perform a one variable calc calculations one variable stats on list L2 and go to calculate and here's the sum of all those numbers 6.1820 they won four decimal places so this is uh, 6.1820